Good morning, my garden friends and YouTube friends. Just here in my hallway, and I'm walking through my house because I want you to see the layout of my house and that we're getting ready for Halloween. Just little by little, not too many things. I don't do too much for Halloween. I don't have any kids who Halloween, grandkids or anything like that. So it's strictly for us. Anyway, here's my dining room table. So you get the, the layout of my house and kitchen, which is a little messy because I was trying to consolidate over here. And here is our living area. And this is where we have our breakfast, lunch, dinner. And over here, guess what that is? That's my warm bin. So if you guys woke up this morning and you went, oh, I hope Peggy talks about worms. I just, they are her best friends, her BFFs. Well, then you're right. That's what we're going to talk about today because you've asked me different questions and one minute just isn't doing it. So let me just slow this down. As my mother, who lived to be 93 years old and died in 2004, used to say, let's sit down and talk this thing over. Let's have a little cup of tea. Let's discuss things. And that was her way of just slowing things down. So that's exactly what I want to do with you today. And the reason I showed you the layout is because we eat here. We eat here. And here are the worms. Now that top is pretty much always done except when we add something. And that's what I want to do today. I just want to show you uh, what we add and how we add it. And as you can see, here's the, the worm leachate, which is what leaches down from them urinating and any water or any liquids and it goes down here to this drain and then you'll hear the little drip 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 over here is my water occasionally whenever I add things in I give them maybe uh, half a quart of water uh, maybe once a week every you know five days something like that the reason there's these little cups here is because somebody told me when they first uh, we bought this 11 years ago that you might get ants in your worms well that, this sort of thing doesn't happen if you're inside your house and uh, uh, that's that answers that question but for some reason or other I've always kept it there and I always thought because the legs fit up inside here and this is not really open but I guess if you had all of this filled with water some of it might drain down I've never had that problem never so here's uh, what I do I, I keep two here one just for you know so that I can switch them back and forth and we usually keep the little blue swifter container underneath when we go on vacation uh, if this were to run over then it has a place to run over. So uh, so anyway, I wanted to show you this whole uh, setup. This is the lid. Okay, and it says can of worms on it. And these this is all perforated. So that there's airflow going into the worms because, you know, worms are creatures that they do take in oxygen. They do let out carbon dioxide. So here's what you can see, some of the things that I've added here already. And it's, you know, I just added this paper to it. But if you have any any paper that has um, glue on it, you know, like your envelopes, apparently they like the glue. I've been told it makes them more um, sexually active. I don't know this personally. I'm not up all night watching whether the worms are fooling around with the glue or not. So that that answers that so now here's some of the things that I want to go over with you 
Let me just take a little sip here. Oh, thank you. Um, the worms, first of all, are not earthworms. They're, um, they're red wigglers is, is what I received 11 years ago. I got two pounds, which was supposed to be 2,000 worms. The whole setup came from one place. I live in Windermere, Florida. Sorrento is about uh, an hour away. We went over, we got the whole thing, we got the worms. And by the way, this is a little spout that you can turn on or off in case you uh, have, you don't, you don't want to let it leak. So um, anyway, and then you have a base here and then you have your first tray, your second tray, your third tray. So you start out with the base and then the first tray. You put your worms in, you put them on uh, either cocoa core or you could, they, they say put, uh, because these trays are all perforated. They have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of holes. They say uh, put cardboard down as a base and then put the worms on top of it so that they don't not fall through. I mean, they're worms, you know, they're not going to, they don't jump. And uh, so you put a little cardboard base on for them so that they have something to kind of like hug on to. And then they will eat. They will just eat this whole cardboard away. Uh, and then you're going to put them on. Uh, I'm sorry, you're going to put some food on there for them to eat. And they will take care of it. But some of your selections are... You know, I use all sorts of things. Like I use my strawberry tops. This is a banana peel. If I want to cool things down, because if it gets really hot in there, then they they protect themselves. If it gets very hot, then they go down into the center and they cool off. But if it gets very cold outside, then they go down into the center to stay warm. So, uh, I mean, they're, they have no brain that I know of, but I mean, other than, you know, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, but that, that's, I think that's pretty smart. So what I do is whenever I'm doing my fruits, a lot of times I'll put them in the freezer. And so then they have like just a cool treat. And also I think it helps to, to break down, uh, the food, uh, to go into, to anything, you know, whether you're, whether you're doing it in your compost pile or, or whatever, excuse me for, for doing that. And also, uh, I use my toilet paper, paper towel rolls that I chop up and I sprinkle those on. Okay. So then worms have no teeth. I don't know this for a fact again. I don't get my magnifying glass out, but I trust, I trust the people who told me. So the things you can use, you can use eggshells. Now I've been told, and I used to do this in the beginning actually, that you can just go like this and crumble them up. But think about it. Here you have this surface and you have worms eating all around the edge. Okay. But now if you have this, and you grind it in a coffee uh, grinder or something like that, those worms have, let me just put it over here, those worms, look at how much more surface they have to eat and use as grit. And that's what they're doing. They're not actually eating it, they're using it as grit, just like a bird would, to help break down and dissolve everything. And so uh, I, Take a little scoop of it, and when I'm done adding things, then I just sprinkle this around. Now the worms have grit to take their food up and uh, help uh, help eat it, and you know it passes through their body. As it passes through their body, it makes poop. It's called nicely worm castings. So I add other things like here's my coffee grounds and I'm going to try and do this one handed, but I will take my coffee grounds 
and then I just because I'm so anal I like to make a nice little circle around there so each day I have a nice little circle and it looks very neat and it looks pretty and then I add my fruit to the center and I know some of us are strange so so there you kind of have it I mean little things like any kind of papers that you get throw them in and then when you're ready to add a little bit of this is how simple things are oh well okay let's wash your little faces as my one warm friend says okay all right that was it that was tough and I think I've added everything haven't I oh I'm sorry wait here get the kids to shred some paper or is it Halloween I don't know but um, take some shred if it gets soupy or soggy or whatever, and just lightly, don't, don't clump it up, but just lightly add that to it. And there you have it. I mean, these are easy pets. And by the way, no smell. Honest to God. Hand to God. No smell. So um, I hope that explains a few things. If you have any questions, ask me. But... Um, but I think that kind of says it. And like I said, here's my, here's where we eat. Here's our kitchen. Here's our, here's our kitchen table. 1880s, Ohio farmhouse. It's a good old table. And there's our worms. Good old plant, uh, good old animals, good old pets. Uh, I hope you guys will consider doing this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Anyway, uh, garden what you've got. Take care. It was uh, a real pleasure uh, getting to, to uh, share this with you. And I hope you will um, subscribe to my channel, uh, Peggy Helpling's Garden What You've Got, and tell your friends. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.